Hello everyone and welcome to Comfort Band Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have the follow-up service call for a Daikin VRV3. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a Daikin VRV3 unit. And in my previous visit, we had an error code for J4. And we found out that we had a bad thermistor. I ordered the parts. This is the thermistor assembly. There is five in one. And it's gonna be for that board. This is the A1P board right here, our main board. And we're gonna be replacing this thermistor today and hopefully clearing that code. Power is currently off for our condensing unit, so we're safe to start. This right here is our A1P board, and this connector right here has an 85 on it. And if you look on the side of the board, it says X30A, so it's terminal X30A for this thermistor assembly. What I'm gonna do is disconnect this and follow these wires and try to connect all five thermistors. All right, so just unplug this. We have some cable ties. Let's carefully cut that out and see exactly where this goes. And we're pretty much just gonna follow that process. Oh man, this thing is dusty. All right, we're slowly getting this out. It goes deep inside here. It's actually very tight. This is looking like it's gonna be a little more difficult than I expected. So here's the wire, I'm trying to follow it. So I see, I think one goes right here. Second one goes here, the yellow one. Then there's another one right here. So three. And there's the fourth one back, back there. And somewhere there's a fifth. I think the fifth is up top right there man this is tight in here so we're gonna need our snips and a box cutter okay that's the first thermistor right here is just sitting and then this is a white code just to mark things i wrote white here and i also wrote it on the pipe itself i don't want to mix any of these up so right now my idea is just to take off the insulation and free up the thermistors this one is going to be next i was just looking at these thermistors if you can see you got a blue got a green got a yellow got a red and the other one is marked with no color and we had a white here so this is actually I follow this this is not a, this is not one of our thermistors these are so little by little we'll be taking out the insulation and finding exactly where each of these go little by little making my way around so I got this one right here labeled as green this one right here labeled as yellow up in there it's we got the blue one it's ridiculous and i followed another one we got one right here so i'm trying to take that out and then we got to find the fifth one this is pretty difficult as back here it's a whole new world all right so inside here was another thermistor and i traced back the last one it's gonna be this one right here i believe all right, so right here is gonna be our final thermistor. The only thing that's a little bit strange is that there's like a little yellow marking here, and so is over here. But this wire has a little yellow taping on it, and this doesn't have any color on it, so that must be the black cable. So we got one, two, three, four, and then up here we have the fifth one all right so we have our cable just gonna go ahead and plug that in let's neatly start running all the wires all right, so here's our thermistor K1 
can't really pull it off. So let me see, take a, this clip off. Usually you could s slide these in or out. But right there, we got the clip. And that's all that's holding it. And this thing is really in here. And this thing is really in here. All right. So we're just gonna take the new one, slide it in and just clip it onto the pipe in the same exact place. All right, so one side has a stop on this clip. So you literally just slide it in and then we should be able to just clip this on right there and then insulate it. And pretty much we just gotta run the wire and repeat the process for all of these. So here's the insulation. We're gonna tape this part and then use some cable ties to strap it back up. So here's an idea of what that's gonna look like. Now let's continue. So the next ones, it's hard to see. Let's see, you got like a little tube here, right there, like the open tube. You slide the thermistor in, and then this little thing just kind of clips it in. All right, guys, it's all put back together. I must say, it was an absolute nightmare. I got cuts all over my hands. How are you supposed to get your hands through this little spaces, and through there? It really was bad, but everything's in. It's looking good. Let's turn the power and see what's up. Some flashing lights. Closed up this cover, I went into one of the rooms and set the thermostat to cool. I'm wondering if it was attached to this. And it is. That compressor is running. The fan's running. Okay, cool. Let's see if we get any cold temps. In the original visit, we did have a bunch of green lights going on, but we had two orange lights. I think it was H2P and then H3P. I forgot if they were blinking or not, but we only have one of those lights on now and it's actually running. So that is a good sign. Oh yeah, you guys can see that distributor is sweating all right. Beautiful. Oh man, I hope this was it. Just closed up the cover, man. This thing is ramping up for real. You hear the compressor, everything's starting up speeding up inverter system let's go in the room and check temperature all right so we got the system in cool chris what temperature we got 54.9 54.9 we're in cooling everybody system is running outside now that <laughs> it's a beautiful thing what you got now 54.7 all right coming down all right here's another thermostat set to cooling there is a lot of air handlers in this space if we look, we're at 57 and coming down. Beautiful. So we're just making our way back to the condensing unit. Just want to show you how we actually get in here. It's quite the mess. If any compressor goes, oh man, it's going to be hard. Climb up. Put the thermostat on off. Two rooms were cooling. Got no alarms. So everything looks good. Here's my tools. I got a package unit in the way. We got this guy. It's still running. Maybe some other rooms are calling for cooling, but that was it. We just gotta pack up our tools and we're out of here. But we had an error code J4. We had that thermistor assembly go bad on the A1P board. Specifically, it's, it says X30A for that five thermistor assembly. We replaced it and we got it going. System is still running and it is what it is. There could be a couple other rooms where the thermostat is on and set to cooling. I can't get in there. Those rooms are occupied. This is a hotel, but this was it. We changed it and we got it going. And now we have another service call. So if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come up with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.